saw that this butterfly hatched and there's still a few more on here. So as you can see with the mushrooms growing on the boards, yesterday was the first day it started to rain. We got four inches of rain yesterday, so the garden's drinking it up nicely. So today I'm going to go through the garden and I'm just going to deadhead some of the plants here, kill off all the, or cut off all the dead areas so that we'll have some new growth now that it's starting to rain. I'll save seed off of these iris. I'm going to cut up this. I don't think I'm going to cut it up. I think I'm going to braid it. This yellow plant. I'm just going to deadhead. So all those dead flowers. So if you were going to save seeds, you would want this to go to seed completely, but I want it to keep flowering, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to cut off all those little dead heads. Here we have a penta. So it did a great job. It bloomed. You can see all of it here. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut these tops off. So whenever you cut that top, these two will then become the top and then they'll send up flowers. And you'll know the spent flowers. You can see they, you see the seed starting to form versus coming blooms. there. So I'm going to come in and I'll cut those off, but I'll leave the flowers. And Pepper's just eating wood chips. So it's been about five minutes and I cleaned up all the dead pieces or the seeding pieces and Cut back some of the dead branches. It's going to reset and it'll bloom again. Just a way to keep your blooms coming. Come out here every once in a while. Just take off all of the pieces that have bloomed already. Looks pretty healthy. On to the next plant. I just braided up the sweet almond. It's about to flower again. instead of deadheading it. So you can see it flowered before, but this one flowers on old growth. So you can see more blooms are coming. So I'm gonna leave that alone. But here I have a lantana, and it's sprawling out of the pot really bad. So I'm gonna come and I'm just gonna tip it. And what that gonna do is where I cut it, it's going to then send these off as main branches. So it'll be more of a bush instead of super scraggly. All right, so that's that's pretty much it for the haircut on the lantana. And then I went and I tipped off all of the ends. So again, that'll spur new growth and it should bush it, it out a little bit more. And then while I was over here, I noticed the Spanish flag vine is coming back. And we have our porterweed. There's the purple one. 
with the blue one. More coral vine. There's that blue sky vine. The bees are just loving it. So we're taking the compost that we've been making from our scraps and filtering it and replacing the corn bed because the squirrels ate the corn. We found another snake in the garden. I think I worked back here like an hour or so, tied up that, the sweet almond, we gave that a haircut, cut back a porter weed, braided that up, deadheaded a lot, there was a lot of mealy bugs on the porter weed so I trimmed that out. Bees are all over that. Alright, that's a little bit of gardening today. <laughs> 